water signs welcome back to the channel it's me antonio let's see if we can get into this uh water sign reading for you guys today it was raining earlier so we'll see I'm sitting on a damp blanket <laughs> i think is it damp it's like one of those fabrics that can soak up water get too fancy up in here like share comment subscribe add value to the channel make sure we continue to grow and put out more messages so cancer scorpio pisces what has been on your mind lately let's see what energies are currently surrounding you what energies the universe wants to bring in Yeah, it's interesting lighting today. The sun is going down behind me. Probably something that the Cancers would like to see. We have Knight of Cups. Person may be coming out of a dark situation here. You see the dark borders here. Could be a young mature fellow, maybe a, some type of poet or some type of artist. I'm getting a lot of things here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. So standing in your element here. That's good energy. There we go. Queen of Cups. <laughs> Just like air signs reading, you jump out of the Knight of Cups and jump right into the Queen of Cups. Very intuitive, very empathic. Again, could be on some type of shamanic journey as well. Maybe a preacher or a pastor. Um, the hand signs, the hand gestures. Could be some form of a royalty as well or some type of um, I'm getting high value or highly motivating. Something, something highly about you. What else is there? Uh, could enjoy uh, water or um, I'm getting ocean retreats. I wanted to say something different though. All right, next cards. I'll pull this reading together. We got Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Three of Wands, <laughs> Nine of Cups. <laughs> we got the Fool here, Major Arcana. We got Seven of Pentacles right under the Ace of Pentacles. We got Eight of Cups. Four of Wands, under Three of Wands, okay. Five of Cups, wow. All right, so um, I guess we'll do um, we'll do something really di different for the water sign. We'll do um, the Romance Angels first. But you do have Ace of Pentacles here, bringing in a new finances or a new opportunity to ground yourself. major arcana the fool all right so forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments having to release negative emotions or baggage is what they would call them baggage can be emotional feelings um financial issues it could be physical habits or hardships it could even be some type of mental mind state that you put yourself in or someone put you in so it's pretty much um detoxing and things before you enter uh into a new experience forgiving and learning learning from those past situations and not repeating old bad cycles over and over again oh yeah that's what it looks like <laughs> they're trying to hide from their demons Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So you may be spiritually inclined or spiritually guided to not walk off the side of a mountain, but to walk into new depth, new endeavors. Explore this new chance to make these finances here with the Ace of uh, Pentacles. It could also be a house or home, a car, um, a job, a business, some way to ground yourself. And we have you deserve love or you are lovable here. Cupid's arrow. Moonology for 
No water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see what the cards has to say. All right, so we got the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Could be conf there be could be dealing in confusion here again. Gemini is known as the multiple personality disorder, zodiac sign. There's a lot of talking there. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. Again, uh, you deserve love here, and then we have okay. So we have you deserve love with the arrow here. These oracle messages or these oracle cards, and then we have look at the bigger picture here with the same imagery. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. You can have cancer in a chart as well. Could be going through some type of transformative, uh, some type of transformative state uh, mentally. All right. So again, grounding you was some type of uh, poetic action or some type of artistic action. Mm, we do have Hermes here needing to deliver a message. This could be some type of emotional intelligence here, or some type of clash you're taking. But we have Queen of Cups here. So you could be dealing with some type of a teacher. Hmm. Some type of emotional guru. Hmm. This is a strong poet here, or some type of uh it has to be a motivational speaker. Yeah. Hmm. Your new homes. Could be a windfall as well. Maybe if you already have investments, this is going to be a, a trigger or an increase in your finances or whatever investments that you have. I'm getting a, uh, yeah, I'm getting a home business or some type of condo. You may be working out of your home. Knight of Swords. Hmm. This is like the newspaper or um, delivery. <laughs> okay, so you're doing a lot of deliveries at this time or maybe you're receiving a lot of deliveries at this time. There's something that you're unaware of, a message that's coming towards you. Someone is wanting to take action towards you or you're taking action towards some type of situation here. You set it, your sights, and you are um, wanting to explore something emotionally here. Okay, so you found your happiness. Or you found uh, whatever brings you emotional stability here. Seeing you have multiple options or multiple suitors or multiple... This person here, it could be. It could be multifaceted is what I'm getting. Probably something that you did not expect. So yeah, there's something every time you see them or any every time you, I guess, communicate with them is something different each time. So they have a well of options here. Or someone, I'm getting, okay, I don't want to say that. But yeah, we have three of wands here. Journeying towards something. Definitely trying to get somewhere. <laughs> this could be sending emails and whatnot. Correspondence is what I'm getting. Taking a leap of faith, the full card. This is Aries, Major Arcana. So you could have um, Aries uh, in your moon or rising sign or somewhere on your chart. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of confidence here. Could be here with the Queen of Cups. Could be some type of... Um, maybe you make jewelry as well or you make crystals or you... Hmm. You're about to fall into some abundance here. This is all this yellow here that I'm getting. She's definitely about to see. <laughs> see? <laughs> You're about to get ready to fall into some, some type of a wealth here. Or maybe it's just. Um, what could this be? We do have seven of pentacles here. So um, this is boundaries that you set for yourself. Um financially so that you don't have to second guess things or that you can live comfortably i'm getting here because we also have the four of wands coming up the seven of pentacles here this could be solid investments that you've put forth 
it could suddenly grout or an increase here. Yeah. See, money's coming in. What else we get? We get Eight of Cups. Could be walking away from a marriage of some sort. Some type of financial breakup as well. Multiple stories here. So if it does not meet or does not fit you, you know what to do. That rhyme, I think it did. Four of Wands. This is a party here where you found uh, some type of uh, relationship here. A relationship has stumbled upon it. has stumbled upon you. Maybe you've walked away or someone has walked away from someone else, even though I don't like that type of energy. Or they're getting out of their emotions. Four of Wands to come towards you for this celebration or this happy time or this party. Some type of spiritual retreat or something like that. All right, Five of Cups. Yeah, someone definitely leaving some sort of a situation or some sort of a mindset uh, that left them dizzy and getting emotionally, emotionally dis disabled, I'm getting. Getting emotionally disturbed here with the Four of Wands next to this card and the Nine of Cups above this card. You may have been trying to keep to yourself you may be happy with yourself, but you're wanting to expand is basically what I'm getting here. And you're seeing that the only way that you can expand here is by opening yourself up. Or journeying toward the collective. Hmm. There's a whole ocean of possibilities out here. All right, so that is your reading for today, Water Signs. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe so that I can bring more and more videos to the channel. We are out here just maxing and relaxing. Um, yeah, it wasn't too much of a bad reading, though. Looks like um, it's, this is like if I was to sum it all together, this is poetry in motion or like life. You know how like life uh, imitates art? This is actually flowing or going through the process of figuring out the do's and don'ts of life and getting to your abundance, your wealth, your ace of pentacles here. Every experience, the fool or the child or the first one, every experience that you take gives you a chance to generate the boundaries that you want for yourself. We live on the earth plane, so you have to have bound, uh, boundaries here as we live here on the earth plane, whether it's um, physically or financially or spiritually. That allows us to uh, flourish uh, mentally here, although this would be the emotions. People in the past thought that the heart ruled the, um, I'm sorry, the, what was it? The heart, people think with their heart or something like that or what the saying was, I can't remember. But yeah, um, walking away from toxic situations could be or toxic bad habits or you put yourself in an emotional state of... Um, arrested development <laughs> developing yourself emotionally i'm guessing but that's it peace